Hey guys, and welcome back to Mercury. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make 3D models just like this one using Common Sense Machine's new AI tool. Let's get started. Now, the first thing you wanna do in this process is actually select an image because this is an image to 3D model AI. I'm gonna use a website called mage.space because it's a free AI image generator that you don't have to sign in to use. The text prompt I'm going to use today is very simple, it's just a cat sculpture because I want something that's going to be easy to 3D print. So I typed in a cat sculpture and now I just have to wait a few seconds for it to generate. This isn't exactly what I had in mind, so I'm going to use a different image, but you can download it and move on to the next step, and that's using the Common Sense Machines website. Navigate to 3d.csm.ai for the next step. Click Login in the top right, and then Sign Up Now. Select Tinkerer because that's the free package, and then you can enter your details to create an account. Then you'll have to click on the verification link that's set to your email, and wait a moment or two for it to be approved. Now you can go ahead and sign in. Finally, you can upload your image by clicking Upload Image in the top right and click Upload Images. You can also do this via Discord, but I think doing it on the website is a little bit easier and it's more private. Click Open, and now you just have to wait for the previews to generate. It'll generate four views of your 3D model before it actually generates the 3D mesh. As long as they look okay, you can click Generate 3D Mesh. At this point, I definitely should have re-uploaded the image and gotten four new previews, but I just went with it because I didn't notice that the cat was missing a leg. Alright, it's been about 30 minutes and I've refreshed the page and now I can see a preview of our 3D model. You could stop now and download the mesh, but it looks really rough and that's because it's not refined yet. The refining process makes it look a lot better and sometimes it adds in details that weren't there before. In this case, it's not going to replace the leg that we lost from the image being from a weird perspective, but I'll click Refine Mesh anyway, and we'll see what it comes up with. Alright, it's been about 3 hours and we finally have our mesh. It has a texture as well, which is really nice. It's definitely not perfect. For one, it's missing a leg, and it also doesn't have that low poly texture I was looking for, but overall it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and download it. We can click Download in the top right and download the refined version as an OBJ file. Then we'll bring it into Nomad Sculpt and see what we can do with it. Here in Nomad Sculpt, there's not too much to fix, but I will smooth out this little rough edge on the paw, and then I'll go into the multi resolution section and subdivide it a few times. This makes the whole model smoother and just looks a lot better. Then I'll export it as an STL file, and we can get to 3D printing it. The model came out really small for some reason, but I'll rescale it up to about 60 millimeters high, and then it's just adding supports. I'll do automatic tree style supports, I'll slice the plate, and then we can go ahead and send it to the printer. While that's printing, let's talk about something else you can do in Nomad Sculpt. Instead of subdividing the model, if you want it to have a low poly look, you can instead decimate it so that it has fewer polygons. That way, it has that really cool geometric look. That's what I did with my recent model Geocat, which is available for free on printables.com. And here we have the final print. A cat that's full of character, even if it is missing a leg. Despite that minor hiccup, it turned out really well, and I consider it a unique piece of art. The fact that it was generated by a computer from just a bit of text is a little bit mind-blowing. I'm so excited to see where this technology goes. Even my cat Albert seems to approve. If you have thoughts, ideas, or suggestions for future projects, please leave them in the comments below. Your input helps shape our creative journey. Happy printing!